I'm YouTube friend of mine um, recommended that I do some some wrist curls um, and I did those and then the next day what I did was I did a one arm uh, row with my left hand with my left hand I was face up on the flat bench and I did a one arm row. This is a flat bench right here. Um and the, but it was with the it was with just a straight bar. Um not not this easy curl bar that I have in this exercise. But anyway, uh so I did that I I think I did that on the sixth and here it is the tenth. Um and it's still pretty darn sore in my in my um my forearm, my forearm is pretty darn sore, and I think it's a combination of the two. I never really put two together. I never really started to think about it until lately. Um, you know, hopefully I can remember so that next time, uh, whenever I'm doing one exercise, and then and then I I follow it up the next day with doing a different exercise, but say they both might work out the biceps or they most both might work out the triceps or or they both might work out the forearms like this one like the wrist uh, curls did um, or they might work out uh, the trap muscles or the uh, or the lats uh, you know um, terrorist muscles things like that or the wings or something and that way whenever I'm doing an exercise one day that works out that muscle and then an exercise another day that works out that muscle then I'm getting a really good workout a burn actually of that muscle and so it might that muscle might be sore for a couple of days and I always thought that it was okay if I do a do a different exercise that doesn't work out that that sore muscle um, and so it just allows that muscle to heal, but you know they, that might be wrong. I mean, it might be if uh, it might be a good idea to work out a sore muscle, um, do an exercise with the sore muscle, but if you want that sore muscle to grow, uh, I don't know though. I I, I don't want to screw anything up, so I'm kind of nervous about you know trying giving that a try. But I do one thing I did find out one of the one thing kind of idea that I had in my head was um, you know even though I am doing different exercises different different formats different styles uh, different uh, um, different types of exercises um, they are working out the muscles in different ways and whenever they work out the muscles in different ways then it kind of um, breaks up the monotony you know, of doing the same exercise all the time, but it also, I think it works out different parts of the muscle, and so you get more of a workout of the muscle, and I think that's a good thing, uh, different, different parts of the muscle, getting an extra, getting an exercise, uh, it, it, it takes away from some of the, um, uh, if you get used to an exercise of doing the same thing over and over and over again, then you're using only a certain specific type of muscle.